Hi there, my name is Andreas Isbay, and welcome to Board Games with Nirmas and his friends. You might have seen me earlier in one of Joseph's top 10 or 20 games of all time. I've been on that for five, to five years in a row. But today I'm here to show you the new expansion for Wingspan, one of, the, one of my favorite games of all time. Namely the Oceania expansion. This is the second expansion uh, for the game and it's, it is once again designed by Elizabeth Hargraves. I'm going to show you uh, some of the components, take a closer look at it, and I will finish off with my thoughts about the expansion. All right, let's, I'm going to try to do this handheld uh, because I don't have the awesome setup that Joseph has uh, back in, in, at his place. Um, and also I'm, try, I'm wondering what, I'm, what I've gotten myself into. This is my first video and Joseph has done a thousand ones, um, but let's get into it. So the, the box, you can see the cover over here, um, includes these things. So we have new dice, we're going to take a little closer look at them. Uh, we have a new type of resource, which is nectar. We have a bunch of new eggs in the color yellow, we have some new round tiles I think they're called, four of them and we've got five new cards, bonus cards uh, we have a new uh, end of round reference and you can see there are a few more steps here so we're gonna check them out soon and there is a big rule book of course just gonna browse it through a little bit so there are plenty of examples here but also it has this awesome appendix as the base game and the first expansion Europeans have with all the, uh, with all the uh, birds and all the powers and everything. They have included five new rebalanced playboards. So let's see, the first column here has improved action spaces. So now every action here in the first column can be improved by spending by spending something. So up here you get one food or two food if you spend a card. You get one egg or two eggs if you spend a card or any type of food. And down here uh, you can get one uh, card or two cards if you spend an egg or a nectar. And also there are some uh, new cool things here. So if you want, if you're here, if you're going to use this section uh, to get two food, you can, before, uh, prior taking the food, you can spend any food to to make a re-roll in the dice tower to get uh, the perhaps the food that you need and they occur over here not here of course but also here down here at the card selections we can like re refresh the uh, tray of uh, bird uh, cards all right and there are also new places here where you um, whenever you spend nectar in the in each habitat you don't put them back to the box you put them on to here because at the very end of the game whoever has the most point uh, the most spent nectar in each of the habitat gets five points in the second play gets two points so uh, what have we missed here of course the cards the cards there are so many new birds so i tried just for a comparison thing here this these are all the new uh, new all the new bird birds from this expansion and these are all the birds that came with the uh, previous expansion the european expansion and these are all the birds from the base game some of the birds now have yellow powers or yeah so yellow powers yellow powers are game end so they trigger only once at the very end of the game and they can be very uh, very very good so for instance this uh, bird here uh, you have a game and power which says cash up to eight wheat from your supply on this bird. Normally, any leftover food is not worth anything, but uh, if you can save up on a wheat, you can get an additional eight points uh, by placing them here. Um, I'm gonna try to find some other cool cards here. All right, so some of the car, some of the birds now have. The nectar symbol as a cost which means in order to play this bird you need to spend uh, one worm or whatever that is a nectar and 
any um, any other or any um, food type. Um, and this is interesting um, because now you have to get the nectar um, in order to play some of the birds. But the nectar can also be used as a wild. So for instance, if you want to play this cute little fellow, the little penguin, which, and he eats three fish, at least normally, you can replace any or all of these fish with nectar if you want to. So in, if you have maybe two nectar in hand and one fish, you can play this. Uh, you, 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 you can pay them to play the, the, the little penguin. And when you do that, the nectar will end up down here. And you are closer to winning the bonus points here. Okay. All right, so uh, let's just take a little closer look on how uh, one round of the new expansion works, how, how it works. So if we take a look at this end of round reference card here. First of all, use round and bird powers if you're playing with the European expansion. Then discard any unused nectar, and this is a really big deal because the nectar is wild, but the nectar disappears between rounds. So that means that you can't really like stock up on the nectar because they will be uh, because they will be gone between rounds. And then you score end of round goals. Then you remove action cubes, discard and replace all cards in the bird tray. And lastly, if round four is over, use game end powers. Otherwise, pass the first play token. So, I, I, I have not yet mentioned how you get the nectar. So the nectar um, can be, you can retrieve nectar by the new dice. So, as I mentioned, there are five new dice in the expansion. So nor, uh, earlier, uh, only one side had a double face. Um, but now all the dice have these two new improved um, faces. So this is either a wheat or nectar, or either a berry or nectar. But as I said, you can't stock up on too many nectar because they will uh, be gone between the rounds. All right, time for final thoughts about this game. So Wingspan is one of my favorite games of all time. I play this game so much with my wife. It's, we believe that it's a perfect two-play game, which takes about 30 to 40 minutes to play. We can like uh, make a cup, may make coffee and play the game uh, during lunchtime or anything like that. Um, this expansion is a gamer expansion. It is um, it is made for gamers like us. So Wingspan. Can, anyone can play Wingspan, but I don't think that anyone can just dive into the Oceania expansion. Uh, of course, the rules are not so. The rules are not hard to understand, but they are. They are aimed towards us, I think. So uh, the re the rebalance of the game boards, which I showed you earlier, is huge. Can't really stress how much of a difference this means. So earlier, earlier when you played Wingspan, it felt like you almost always had to put one bird in each of the habitats to get the basic action to be worthwhile. This is no longer the case. Like, because you can improve every first action. Um, you don't have to go broad. You can get uh, deep into one of the habitats, I, um, I believe. Um, the... Nectar is very interesting. Um, you start off with one nectar. So normally when you start off with five cards and five and one of each different food type, and you get to, for every card that you keep, you have to spend one of the food. Uh, you do that normally, but then you also get an additional nectar, which means that your initial, your first round, your first actions of the game will be so much better because you will always have a wild. You can play a bird that requires maybe two wheat, or, or something um, which normally you have to take a food to get it, etc. Take normally the game, it takes a few actions, maybe an entire round before your engine gets on, gets up and rolling. Um, with this expansion, I feel I think I played it ten times now. Um, I feel that your engine 
you can uh, get your engine going really really fast in this, in this and i really like that this is an engine uh, engine building game it's an awesome one and the sooner you get to the fun parts the better um the competition um of the nectar in each habitat it's fine um as i play mostly on two players it's always that if I spend an extra nectar, the my my wife has to somehow either give up on that habitat or try to find more nectar uh, and so on. Um, I think the that part is 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 all right. I think the that the new bonus cards are decent. They provide a new type of puzzle. Uh, which is fine, I think. Um, I like the new yellow birds. The yellow. I thought that the yellow birds would be super strong when I first looked at them, but after playing ten times, I think I. I don't even end up with a yellow bird in each game. Um, they are very. They are all very. Most of them are very dependent on the situation, which most cards are in this game. Um, I like the new end of round goals. These adds, these add a lot to the to the game. I feel so. Overall, this is a very, very good expansion aimed towards the gamers. I believe so. We own over a hundred board games, and this is a perfect, for perfect expansion for a game that we like. So, thumbs up. Can really recommend it. My name is Andreas Isberg, and this has been very hard but very fun. Uh, you might see me in some other videos coming up. We'll see. It seems like I'm going to be the wingspan expert on this YouTube channel, at least for a little while. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Be like Draco. Follow Board Games with Niramas on Facebook at BGW Niramas.